Hello, my fellow wizards and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. So we all know that the Harry Potter reunion is coming up soon. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I'm posting this video. It probably already happened at this point. I'm not sure. But anyways, <laughs> I just finished reading all of the Harry Potter books for the first time ever this year. At, well, 2021. <laughs> and I have been curious as to which... Hogwarts house I belong to like which one do I really belong to because I had taken so many quizzes in the past and each one always comes out with a different answer so I'm like which wh where do I belong you know so I thought I would take um, at least 10 quizzes and we will see which one like spouts out the most <laughs> like if it's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. I thought I would take about 10 sorting hat quizzes and we will see uh, which one wins out. So um, I did already take nine of them. Uh, one of them is from the official Wizarding World like app or whatever. Uh, I do have the app on here. And originally it said I was a Hufflepuff and then recently it said retake the quiz because you could change or whatever. Um, like your personality can change as time goes on or something like that. So I retook the quiz and it said I was Ravenclaw. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I was like, you know what? Let me get to the bottom of this. Let me find out once and for all, where do I belong? So I've already taken nine and I thought I would take the final one, which is a Buzzfeed one with you guys. I have taken so many of these quizzes before and almost every single time it was either Gryffindor or Ravenclaw, like almost every single time and then a few Hufflepuffs thrown in between here and there and then very rarely Slytherin so my guess is I will either be in Gryffindor or Ravenclaw is my guess so before we get started put your guesses down below see if you get it right all right Let's get started. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't wanna miss out. All right, ladies and gents, um, I do have my little wizard hat on, you know, for the occasion. Uh, and let's see. Okay, you guys. All right, so this is the BuzzFeed sorting quiz, and we shall see. And I'll tally up all of the, um, like, Hogwarts house results that I got, and I will let you guys know who I got. Um, I do have a Ravenclaw cardigan and a Gryffindor cardigan, so whoever wins, you know, they'll, uh, that's the cardigan I will be wearing from now on. <sighs> okay, anyways, let's start with question number one. You've made it to Hogwarts, which means you've already bought a wand from Ollivanders. What material is at its core? I love all of them, but I'm gonna go with Phoenix. I don't know. I don't, I'm not like that into Harry Potter yet to where I know all the details like that, but Okay, during the end of your exams, you notice that one of your classmates was using an enchanted quill. You come top of the class anyway, but they are second. What do you do? Tell the professor immediately cheating is wrong, no matter what. Nothing, but if it hadn't come, uh, if I hadn't come to the top of the class, I'd definitely tell the professor. Encourage the other student to admit that they, what they did, uh, what they'd done to the professor. Give them a high five for managing to sneak the quill into the exam. Okay, I, w I definitely wouldn't do that. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even like bother. Like, It just wouldn't be any of my business, even though I'd be disappointed in that student. But um, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this. Nothing. But if I hadn't come to the top of a class, I'd definitely tell the professor. Yeah, I would be really angry if like you know, I actually worked hard for it, you know. But anyways, you would be most hurt if a person called you weak, ignorant, unkind, or boring. Hmm. Okay. Boring. I know I'm boring. <laughs> um, unkind. I've never been told that, so I don't know. Um, weak. I don't think I'm weak. Ignorant. I don't think I'm ignorant. I don't know. Probably unkind. Well, it, mm. oh man, this is hard. I'm gonna go with ignorant, I don't know. You're locked in a duel with a skilled opponent. They fire an unknown spell at you and you shout, Spelliamus, Protego, Stupefy, oh, Crucio. Probably Stupefy. 
uh, it's your fifth year at Hogwarts and you just received a howler from your parents. What's it for? Sneaking into the Forbidden Forest at night on a dare? I would never. I'm too scared. Uh, getting caught. <laughs> well, I don't know. Mm-mm. Getting caught cheating in my divination divination owl. How, how do you even cheat at a wizarding like exam? I feel like they would catch you pretty quickly. Okay. Um, being put in detention after I was caught in the library after hours? <laughs> Nothing. I'd never do anything to warrant a howler. Yeah, I, li- I literally never got in trouble as a kid in school, so uh, I would say nothing. Which of these Dumbledore quotations speaks to you? Pity the living and above all those who live without love. Words are, in my not-so-humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic. It matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Oh, man. <laughs> And yeah, I, th- this is why I love Dumbledore. I love, like, his quotes. <laughs> I was like, he's so smart. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. Just, you know, kind of gives you hope. Because no matter how uh, um, crummy your beginnings were, you always have that hope that you can make your future better. So I like that. Which of these most accurately describes your relationship with your closest friends? <laughs> Um, okay, I love surrounding myself with people. The more friends I have, the better. <laughs> I have a few very close friends that I would trust with my life. I tend to be wary around new people, so I don't make new friends often. Very true. Uh, I find myself becoming friends with people who can help me succeed. Uh, I've learned to be very careful with who you make friends with. So I'm going to click the third option. Which of your skills are you most proud of? My ability to absorb new information, my ability to make new friends, my ability to get what I want, my ability to keep secrets. Oh my, ability to keep secrets. Oh my goodness. That was like my nickname in middle school. I am very loyal. That is one thing I know for sure. I have been on the other side of things and I know what it's like when people keep your secrets, when people talk behind your back and stuff. So that is very important to me. So I will literally keep her secret to the grave, hands down. Um, the first Quidditch match of the season is approaching and you can't wait to get involved. What role are you playing? Ooh. I would either be a seeker or I'd be in the crowd. <laughs> there is no in between. <laughs> but most likely, especially now, yeah. I, mm, yeah, I think now I'd still be in, uh, I'd be in the crowd. You're allowed to pet... Uh, a pet at Hogwarts, an owl, a cat, or a toad, which would you bring? Uh, I don't know. I like having my own owl. It's pretty cool, especially in Hogwarts. Hello. Comes in handy. It's Saturday. You finish your homework and you have some free time. You decide to spend some time away from your common room. Where do you go? The Forbidden Forest, the library, the kitchens, the room of requirement. Definitely. I think that would be so cool. What would you see in the mirror of Erised? Myself surrounded by riches, surrounded by loving family and friends, knowledge above all, experiencing a marvelous adventure. <sighs> it's between these two. Well, it's between these three, honestly. Uh, let's see. I'm. I wouldn't do riches. Just gonna go flat out do riches. Which of these? Uh, because I'm already always surrounded by my family so <laughs> which of these magical events would you most like to experience the triwizard tournament the quidditch cup world uh, world cup the yule ball christmas at hogwarts oh my gosh mm. it would either be the yule ball or christmas at hogwarts i'm gonna i'm gonna say christmas at hogwarts i love christmas um you're having trouble mastering a new spell and you decided to ask for help what or who do you go to my smartest friend the library i'll figure it out myself uh honestly when i didn't get or understand something i would try to figure it out myself but i would usually ask my friends to see you know if they knew how to figure it out so i would say my smartest friend choose a deathly hallow Ooh, the cloak of invisibility which path do you intend to follow after leaving Hogwarts? I joined the ministry. I want to make a difference in the world. I think I'd travel for a while before committing to a career. I'd settle down and start a family as soon as possible to work in order to achieve as much as possible. I'd either travel for a while or continue to work as hard as possible. 
I don't know if I would like settle down immediately, but I did get married <laughs> like right after I graduated college and my husband is my travel partner. I, I just I can't see myself traveling without him. So, <sighs> so I'm just going to do that. And finally, we know that the sorting hat takes into account your preferences. So which Hogwarts house do you feel you identify with most closely? <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> That's the whole point of the quiz. I don't know. But purely because I love Harry Potter and Hermione and Ron, I do love Gryffindor. So... I'm gonna say Gryffindor. So it says you are 30% Slytherin, 28% Gryffindor, and 24% Ravenclaw, and 18% Hufflepuff. Very interesting. <gasps> oh, so I think I got, I'm just gonna say I'm Slytherin for this one then. Oh, wow. And I remember taking this before, and I think I, I don't know if I answered the same or maybe like one question was different, but literally Slytherin was last. <laughs> so I don't know how reliable these are, but I think the one that I changed was Riches because I had chosen this before. <laughs> so I don't know. Let me see, last, oh, last is Hufflepuff, really? Wow, okay, so let's count it up. Okay, so I took screenshots of all of the quiz results and I am going through and keeping track. Uh, we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. So the first one is Hufflepuff. And the second one is Gryffindor, and I got Slytherin. Then we have Gryffindor, oh my gosh. Hufflepuff, then Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Slytherin, the one that we just took. Okay, so this is the tally sheet, which is so crazy. Um, it just worked out to be two, 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 and then four for Gryffindor. So clearly Gryffindor is the winner. And even if I were to add on my official uh, Wizarding World um, thing, like for my app, um, let me see just show you guys. I am in Ravenclaw for that. So even if I were to add like Ravenclaw in here, it still would make a difference because Gryffindor would be the winner still. So I guess I am in Gryffindor. So let me go get my Gryffindor cardigan. I shall be right back. So it looks like I am in Gryffindor. I have finally been sorted and I'm Gryffindor. That was exciting. Oh, so you guys have to let me know what house you are in. Um, are you a fellow Gryffindor or Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin? Let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you guys for following me on this journey to get sorted into my house. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.